Roxel made me a god. Roxel and why ten shroud Asu uses it. Roxel grew my dick five inches and now my wife's boyfriend respects me. Hi everyone, it is your favorite uh TikTok aim that, coach. Please. I worked with people in X set, <laughs> ECT, people in Overwatch contenders, blah blah blah, so on and so forth. The intro is way too long. I'm not gonna go into that. Let's be real. Um is acceleration gonna make your aim not shit? Uh, probably not. You just need to have more practice, really. But if you do want to play with acceleration or you want to know why acceleration even is a thing and some warnings about it, too, uh, I'm going to answer both of them right here. Is acceleration worth playing with? How do I make acceleration work best for me? So if you're not interested in why acceleration even is a thing or why most people may not even like it, just go to the timeline. Just click on when this help actually starts. Now, fun fact about me. Uh, I actually played with Acceleration for about half of my gaming life. I actually played it in Quake Sourbrutton. Sourbrutton? I have no idea. It's a Quake copy. Counter-Strike Source and TF2. Played all of that for about five to six years with Acceleration. All this knowledge and experience isn't from some bozo just never touched it. I played with it for half my life. And not to mention, I coached a shit ton of people who played with Acceleration. But anyways, my opinion of Acceleration is this. Uh, its utility is outdated, and quite frankly, a tad bit overrated. Fox News alert, 8 o'clock in Philadelphia. Riots overnight there. 30 officers hurt, and more than 30 people have been arrested after violence erupted. I don't have anything against acceleration. It's just rare for someone to be better at acceleration than without. Why would I say the utility is outdated? Well, just look at the very first thing that you turned off when you first searched up on how to improve your aim. Most likely, the YouTube tutorial from 2008 told you to turn off your enhanced pointer precision. It says enhanced pointer precision, but it's really just acceleration. Not that acceleration is bad, it's just that Windows acceleration is horrendous. Now, why is it bad? Well, how a program detects how much you should modify your cursor speed is dependent on its speed checks. To put it in a metaphor, uh, imagine something that detects your speed and if you were to surpass let's say 40 miles per hour that program will add a little bit more speed as soon as you pass that you know threshold how windows checks your speed is every 10 miles per hour so even if you were to flick 9.9 .9 miles per hour it will not give you that speed boost unless you pass that very strict threshold uh very good acceleration algorithms such as quake will actually check your speed let's say every 0.1 miles per hour so it's going to be quite accurate and it's going to feel very fluid so if windows acceleration is that bad why is it on by default well, acceleration was made to compensate for dated hardware. If you ever got a mouse that's like $10 or below, and you flick with even a micron of fucking force, your cursor will either refuse to move or it will spaz out. The average person has a $10 mouse. If you were to talk to a normie and told them that you spent $50 on a fucking mouse, they would look at you like you're a fucking moron. With acceleration on, even if your sensor cannot detect fast mouse movements, it will still move your cursor to emulate the speed of you moving your mouse that fast. That's why you see a lot of older generation of pro FPS players play with acceleration. Uh, most mice at that time can't even detect fast movements that are needed for FPS games. That's why when you see a 30 plus year old who played CS 1.6 or Quake aim very smoothly, they learned how to prevent that spin out. So now it's kind of their permanent habit, you know? Usually in those days, they would either play a low sensitivity with acceleration on or they play a high sensitivity so there wasn't even a need for acceleration in that case uh, again not everyone just most people so when mice got so good to the point that there wasn't a need for acceleration people lost their shit why do you think most people worship the intelli mouse opticals not only because of the really good shape of of the time at least but because they are one of the five singular mice out there that could even detect you doing this most mice at the time can't even comprehend like 
holy shit, he's moving his fucking hand. I can't even tell. It's moving too fast. It's not that fast. This is not that. Nowadays, like, mice can detect this shit. All right, back then, that's like a rarity. So why was acceleration seen as a bad thing? Well, think of it like this. Flicking, at least in, you know, hit scan esque shooters, is literally seeing someone on your screen, you flick at that angle and at a certain distance. People spend hundreds, if not literally thousands of hours perfecting, combining two of those variables angle and distance acceleration throws a whole wrench into that equation not only you have to learn the angle that you're flicking at them from but you have to learn how hard you're flicking when to stop in accordance to that because if you're going really fast you can only flick a little bit if you want it to be a certain distance in addition to that if you miss your fucking shot or you have to shoot again which is like everybody you now have to adjust your aim at a different sensitivity than what you have flicked before so instead of juggling two consistent variables now you have to juggle three in which two of those are ever so changing because of acceleration but in the case of tracking though it doesn't really matter that much on or off high sense or low sense you can kind of track with any sensitivity and most people who play acceleration at least for tax shooters in professional play they're typically a lot more positional heavy than they are mechanically heavy in terms of their gameplay meaning that they rely more on their positioning to get the kill rather than their aim to get the consistent frag keyword consistent frag of course that doesn't mean everyone i'm more or less just talking about a trend that i see but am i telling you to never try it fuck no like it's a fucking video game you know video games are meant to have fun you should experiment it's fun but i would recommend if you were to play this in ranked probably try it out on an alt account or a smurf now to the fun bit how to optimize the acceleration for you uh and really it's kind of it's not really that hard well okay the steps are easy. Finding the sense part is the hard part. Uh, first step, go into a deathmatch and play like a fucking idiot. Put yourself in situations where you have to flick at people fast to kill them and find your sense in that situation. Don't rely too much on cross replacement. I just want you to just, you know, turn to them really fast. And let's say that in this imaginary game, the sense you do the best with is 12 in terms of fast accurate flicks don't look at the kills just look at where your cursor ends up at when you're flicking at those people so now in another series of death matches lower your sensitivity to at most 20 percent of that high sensitivity you have found in this case 20 percent of 12 would be 9.6 and then i want you to play super safe Play safe as if you're shivering in your fucking timbers i don't even know where to fucking hold bro how do i how do i make this an example I push fucking everything. Okay, I guess I hold that. Force yourself to mainly rely on cross replacement so that very minimal mouse movement is required most of the time. And force yourself to aim very smoothly if you could. Normally, I hate telling people to do that in deathmatch, but in this case you do. And now adjust your sensitivity so that you're the most accurate in regards to very small micro movements. Try not to go lower than 30% of your uh, high speed sensitivity because the larger range of acceleration you use, the more likely you will eat shit once you try acceleration that's probably why you didn't have a good time with acceleration when you first tried it out the idea of using a low sense but if i need to flick i can utilize a high sensitivity with acceleration is actually a new idea people early on kept acceleration multipliers really low because it was so inconsistent jumping from a really high sense to really low to really high to really low and etc people are way more consistent when the acceleration range is small and now let's pretend that the best sensitivity you play with when you're playing like a bitch is 10. So again, these are all just placeholder numbers, but so now you have your best full speed sensitivity, which is 12, and your best slow accurate sensitivity, which is 10. Add the two and divide by two and you get the number in between, which is 11 in this case. So now the sensitivity you should put in game should be 11, but hold your horses, we're not done yet. You have to take the 12, in this case, your full speed sensitivity, and subtract it by 11, your middle sensitivity. In this case, I get 1. Take the number that you got from that first equation, and now divide that by your middle sensitivity. The number that I got was 1, so I'm dividing that by 11. And after that, simplify it to your hundredth place. 
which in this case, I get 0.09. And then just add one to your final value. So my final value in this instance will be 1.09. Of course, you're going to get something else. But whatever value you get at the end, you put that in your raw Excel program. So in game, your sensitivity will be 11. But when you're taking your time trying to aim a little smoothly, your sense will be 10. But if you're trying to go your full speed and you have to acquisite someone really fast, your sense will be 12. And that's kind of just it. It's kind of simple, right? I mean, of course, it's going to take a bit of time to do, but it's going to work out for you very well. All right, let me get myself fucking out of here. I feel like I'm in fucking Aim Lab Khan Academy. I would recommend trying this on a Smurf or on adult account, but this method should be the best for finding your acceleration. And that's kind of just it. The video is going to be really simple. But if you guys have any more video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. I read all comments. That's why I'm making this video right here because of you guys. I hope y'all got utility out of this. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe.